All right, Eric. So if uh, let's talk about like a low handicap or not a not a pro or anything, but if they start to have problems with this kind of length of putt, six feet and in, where's it usually the culprit? Um, I think it's tension, tension in the hands, in the fingers. If you took, if you took like a butter knife and you held it in your hands and you squeezed it, you just changed your pressure a little bit. You'd see that that butter knife wobble a little bit. Twitch, yeah. Yeah. So same thing with the putter. We're gonna we're gonna change the the pressure or tension in our hands and the face is gonna wobble a little bit. So when we can maintain the same pressure in our hands throughout the stroke, whatever pressure is comfortable for you, I wouldn't go as high as 10, you know, bringing it down anywhere from seven to four. It doesn't have to be like, oh, the lighter the better. It's just maintaining the same. Then that face doesn't wobble, especially as we change directions. Everything can be real soft and that's gonna maintain the integrity of the face to come here and come back and strike it the same way every time without it being slightly different. Because when we start changing the launch angle of the putter, of the, of the ball off the putter face, it changes the characteristic of the roll, which can take a, say a 10 foot putt that breaks a cup right to left. It could be half a cup or a cup and a half, depending on what roll we give it. So to get the consistent roll, the pressure in the hands are gonna maintain the face to allow it to be the same every time. So we know how to read it, how fast it's gonna be coming off the putter face. So what's the best way to practice keeping your, your tension consistent throughout the strokes? Like, what, where are you at from one to 10? Where, where are your hands? I'm probably in a four. I'm pretty soft. And where, and what's the best way to, for somebody to practice that? Uh, just a, a good way is to be detached from result because the, the wanting this for a $5 skin or for a $30,000 Long Beach Open or whatever it is, we get attached to wanting to make it. So we get that. So when we get attached to the result, we can sometimes make sure you get it. Make sure, just like again, throwing a ball, make sure I get it to your hand. I lose the fluidity of the motion because I'm now involved mentally attached to the result trying to get it. So when we can stay detached from the result and I don't wanna say stick to the process, but stick to the task of making this ball go from here to there the best way I know how, then I'm doing it with a quiet mind with the grip pressure that I've trained with for so many years and then I can step up, read it and allow it to happen without me being overly involved. So almost like when you're striking the putt, you wanna like stroke it and then once it's off your putter face, decide then like, was that good or not? Don't wait until it's either fallen in or, or yeah. not fallen in. Yeah, you know right away. Yeah, right. You know, you know right away. Yeah. So uh, we don't even have to decide, we just, we know. And I've had plenty of bad putts that have gone in. I've had plenty of good putts that haven't. Yeah. But if if the feel of of my execution matches what I was intending to do, it's yeah. successful. Okay. All right. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. We're getting rolled up on by the crew, but uh, going through our putting and stuff. If you guys are interested in learning more about making your putting really sharp this season, go to bebettergolf.net slash putting. You're going to see the Be Better Golf putting system that Tim Yelverton, a tour coach, put together and really has a, a lot of content, hours of content about drills and other things you can do to make your putting better. If you guys would like a putting lesson or any other lesson from Eric, you're here at? Golf Club in Rancho California in Marietta. And uh, his, his number, you can text him, is in the uh, description to this video. See you later, bye.